All right, so today is the day that we finally turn this tank right here into a Christmas themed tank. This has been our all orange tank for about a month and a half now. And today we're gonna be turning this into a Christmas themed tank. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty dang cool. Now in here we just have some orange glowfish and all those guys they are just gonna go into this tank right over here. And I think the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna get all those guys out, get them in there, get them all acclimated and everything. Now I'm gonna take all the water out, but I'm only gonna keep half of the water. So that way it's just like a water change and that way we don't have to cycle the tank, you know, to wait several more weeks to add fish in here. Now I got a bag of white gravel red gravel and green gravel and these are you know christmas colors you got to get in the vibe of it. you got to get the exact colors so got red white and green and then i got this little like christmas tree ornament thing and that's about it right now i am gonna add probably one or two other things in there but this is gonna get ourselves started and here is the tank that i skipped in the last video it is looking really really good now cleared up a whole lot and i also got some more plants for it today so we're gonna get those in there after we escape the christmas theme tank let's do it Alright, so here's the tank, and uh, I've been kind of letting it, you know, clear up throughout the day and stuff, and it's still a little bit cloudy and all, but in my opinion, I think it looks pretty dang good. Now, keep in mind, I am going to add more stuff to it. I'm not just going to have the one little tree in there, but I will add, you know, a few uh, plants here and there, maybe some other kind of decoration, but I kind of built up the gravel around the tree. You see how I made a mound all the way around the tree, and that's kind of what I wanted to do, but I'm going to add more stuff in here. Like, that's not going to be all that I have in the tank. And like I said, it is still a little bit cloudy, so it'll probably be, you know, crystal clear by tomorrow or the next day. As for fish though, I think the main fish that I'm going to have in there are a few candy cane tetras. It's like the perfect fish for a Christmas themed tank. Like why not? They're really, really cool looking fish and they get the name, you know, candy cane tetra because of the top little white fins they have. So I think I'm going to get about five of those and uh, maybe something else. So that's going to be like the main, you know, kind of centerpiece fish for the tank. And I just had to throw in the saltwater tank in the montage because it is looking really, really good right now. I did a water change on it earlier today and that is exactly why. But the hammer coral is looking really, really good and I actually moved the candy cane coral up there and uh, just because it kept on falling off the notch that's right there. So I went ahead and moved it up there and uh, it is looking really, really good in there. By the way, the conk is out and about right there he's been doing his job you know really taking the place of the old conk and definitely the right about size for this tank and i also told you guys i did get some plants for the guppy tank here they are right here i mainly just got a whole bunch of guppy grass for the tank there's also one uh pretty odd plant i'm not sure what it was but some guy actually brought in a few of these stems to the store and uh, we were not sure what they were but i'm gonna give you guys a good look at them once i get into the tank and uh you guys can maybe decide what it is and it's a really really cool looking plant as you can see right there this is just one of the stems and I'm probably just going to kind of set it right back here in the sand somewhere 
Uh, but it's a really, really nice looking plant, actually. Look at the leaves. You see how they have those red lines through the leaves? Yeah, that is really, really cool looking. So if any of you guys know what this plant is, definitely let me know. Drop a comment below if you think you know what this is. But I'm just going to try to set it right back there in that corner. And then this guppy grass, of course, this is a free-floating plant. Just kind of kind of spread it about. And this is really what I wanted for the tank. I was talking about getting some hornwort for it as that being the free-floating plant, you know, for the guppy babies and all that. Uh, but this is a lot nicer looking and uh, nowhere near as messy as hornwort is. So as you can see, it just kind of spreads about. And uh, I'm probably going to end up getting some more of this, but this stuff grows really, really fast. So, But that is the guppy tank for now. And probably sometime next week, I'm probably going to get some guppies for it and hopefully... You know, we can get a whole bunch of guppies breeding in here. But that's going to be pretty much it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please be sure to drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I know we've been kind of scaping tanks like back to back. And uh, guess what? Next video is going to be another scaping video. I'm going to be rescaping the Lelupe Cichlid tank. And uh, it's going to be really, really cool, I think. So stay tuned for that. But if there's any kind of videos that you guys want me to make or any kind of scapes that you want me to do in any of my other tanks, definitely let me know. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And with that being said, you guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.